hi guys it's Cindy the jewelry nurse thank you for watching if you're new um, welcome to my channel if you are returning thank you um, for the continuing support and please don't forget to hit the thumbs up um, when you leave if you haven't done that already if you're new don't forget to subscribe um, I do giveaways on my lives when I do unjarrings I do giveaways and I do auctions every other Sunday um, I also host, co-host a show with um, my cozy nest called Girls Night In with Sin and Beck where we um, get together and we just talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. We sometimes have guests and it's uh, hard topics that we talk about sometimes so I highly recommend watching it. Um, some very heartwarming and touching things that our viewers have shared with us. And then I also host a Top 5 Faves with Princess Casserole. Um, you may know her as Carla. So we go back and forth between my channel and hers. And when I do auctions every other Sunday, I usually do those with Vicki Porter. And we also go back and forth between my channel and hers. So um, this is part 3. And I don't know if you remember this. This was a Leah Sophia piece. And it actually has some real potato pearls there some gray ones some beautiful ones and it was in pieces but I found all the pieces and I was able to put it back together the only thing I don't like I think I'm going to rearrange it is the fact that they put these there's like six of these beautiful pearls they're just gorgeous color pearls they're purples and greens and blues and grays in there um, think you can see some of that coloring in them as they put them up so high on the neck so I think I'm going to do some rearranging of them I'm gonna take the pearl sections and move them down I think to here I'm gonna move these beads up to here and move those down to there because they're hiding the beautiful pearls so I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging on that but otherwise very nice necklace there um, glass and acrylic beads on here so very pretty and let's see this i also repaired this was from a box a little while back but it was um had some pieces missing so what i did was i went in and i rearranged the pieces that i had into a um into a necklace so that you can see so that it's balanced basically um, and wearable now because it was kind of hit and miss on the pieces, but they all work now. Let's see them up a little too. There we go. But it all works now, as you can see. It is wearable now. So one more piece. Um, I like if I can't save them, I like to send them to Vicky or Susan or somebody who can save them. So um, I hate seeing jewelry go to waste. So either if I can't save it, I'll send it to them and have them make something new out of it so I was able to save that one on my own it wasn't too much work so I went ahead and did it so this is I don't know if you remember this it was broken um, these little things in the middle that hold it together see that slots right there on the side well there is a way to repair these you just have to have a very steady careful hand and you have to um, remove the stone and put it back in so which is how I generally repair them I'm going to do a video as soon as I get another I should have done it on this one but these were so tiny that I, it, I don't know if I could have gotten up close enough but the next time I get one of these that is broken here or maybe I'll just take one that's missing some stones and take it apart and show you how to repair them but they are repairable just got to be careful and you have to remove the stone and put it back in so I'll show you that and I'll try to do that really soon because it is uh, you know we get a lot of these so it's a way to save them that are broken that this piece has come out so savable so don't throw those away when you get them hold on to them don't throw them in your craft box if you've got all the parts I will show you how to put them back together and I'm pretty sure I have the other earring was in a earlier box but I know I have one of these and I don't know if it came in one of these boxes or another box but um, I do have another red one just like this so um, hopefully I can find it and make a set out of that 
And then let's see, I think that was, oh yeah. So here's another pair that I saved. Um, these were other, there was just pieces part. So I made a pair, oh, you know what? I just realized I picked up the wrong, oh, nope, it's the right hook. So I made earrings out of them. Just realized though one of the um, hoops is oxidized. But these are cute. And they're kind of lightweight, but they made a really pretty pe um, pair of earrings, I think. Sorry, camera's a little too far out. There we go. Made some pretty earrings, though. So very cute. And... Saved the... Uh, material from the craft box so I am happy with how those came out let me go ahead and finish this box I know you want to see the rest of what's in the box and as I said this is part three of this box so um, I am trying to film some episodes ahead so I have episodes that I can upload on the weeks when I get really busy like I have been for like the last month and a half it's been a little crazy and during the Mother's Day and Mother's Day and Father's Day I'm gonna get a little busy again because I have a cake I have to do this is pretty cool it has um, these pounded metal tabs but it also has this looks like ore it's not peacock ore or it just it just looks like ore I don't it's not um, fool's gold it's ore and then this pretty nice crystal but the crystal looks like they did a little bit of smoothing out the edges there it must have been broken on the tip so they kind of smoothed it out and made it look better you can tell it's been polished up a little but nice crystal though otherwise it's got some um, inclusions but mostly on the outside so pretty cool crystal and then of course a faceted crystal there but kind of cool, and this actually has a tag, and it says, um, can't remember, Lane Bryant. This is a Lane Bryant necklace, so pretty cool for Lane Bryant. Which, you know, doesn't mean it has to be for just plus size women. Anybody can wear it, it's just longer. And then, let's see. This was a, um, I went ahead and untangled everything that was left just so we wouldn't have to um, try and untangle everything while I was filming. This is another paparazzi piece and it came with the, had actually both earrings and these were all apart so I had to get new jump rings and put it all back together but it's kind of cute. Just a lightweight, you know, for $5 from um, paparazzi, what to expect. But cute little statement necklace and all brand new and then I had this and I had it all untangled and what did I do I tangled it back up again it's not tangled up with everything else but the chain is all tangled of course god these chains just tangle so quickly don't they I should have put them on my thing while I waited to film the rest so I started it last night and it got late so I had to stop but um, these are really cute it's got these stations and I think yep there's one stone missing out of all of these and it guess what it happens to be the first one I pick up of course um, but that's easily replaced I do have some stones this size and the color I can replace it with but um, cute necklace it's fairly long I like these stations. Let me do this so you can see the whole thing. Um, but simple but cute. So let me go ahead and put this on my neck over here so I do not end up tangling it all again. Need some cleanup on the chain for sure. And it's just so hard to find gold tone, vintage gold tone or even new gold tone unless it's like a really high-end brand without it being um some wear on the neck that you know where it hits the neck it's always not sure what state this is 
or country. It has a little heart there. It is cute. If anybody recognizes that state, let me know. I think it's Virginia, actually. <laughs> what, am I? what a dummy. I think that is Virginia. And this probably plays into the Virginia is for lovers. I don't see any marks on it anywhere. It does look like it could be gold plated. But it doesn't, I'm sure it's not gold. It doesn't have any marks anywhere that I can see. But I didn't actually look. But it does not look like a gold chain. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at it upside down this whole time. And when I flipped it over and realized that was a heart. <laughs> oh, doofus, it's Virginia. Duh. Only the state I live in. Not my home state, but the state I live in. Okay, and next was this. This one is broken, and unfortunately this one is brown. bound for the craft box. I can put some of it back together. It is kind of cute, but however, I'll see what it looks like when I take this piece off right here, because this should attach here, but the pedal is actually broken, so not much I can do about that. But the rest of it's really cute, and I really like I like this. This is this is really cute. So and it has a fairly decent chain. It's not oh it is marked. I'm sorry. This is what is it? Let's see. Quite a few marked pieces in here. B or C. Okay. Looks like a backwards B and a backwards C. Or a C and a P. I think it's CP. CQ maybe? Not sure. I'll look that one up. But Or maybe it's COL. I don't know. Anybody recognize that? Let me know. That mark. There we go. See, it looks like CQ that way. Not sure, but let me know if you recognize it. Thank you, guys. Always somebody knows. It's awesome having you guys to ask. Oh, and I forgot that I did test some of this silver. These did test positive for silver. So it wasn't just the backs that are sterling. The earrings are sterling. I got a serious <laughs> positive on these. So um, these are sterling silver. Even though the I don't see a mark anywhere on these. Unless it's underneath that part. Nope. But the backs are marked 925. But the earrings also tested 925. And this bear paw. And I'm pretty sure I have the other one of these somewhere. If not, like I said, I'll make a pendant. And surprisingly, this tested 925. This is pretty old. It, it is not. Um, it does have a spring ring. It is not marked anywhere, but the chain and all the charms tested 925, except for this one, which I think is 800. And there's one other I think might be 800. I think it was this one. There's two I think might be 800. But um, most of them tested positive and it smells, looks, feels like sterling. But I think it's a fairly old piece of sterling. Not marked at all, so probably artisan made. Then I had this bracelet that I bought from Barbie Crafts that I just got around to testing. I probably showed it to you a while back um, so that I could put it in a auction. Um, very pretty agate on here, but that one did test positive. And this is Italian silver, so very pretty bracelet. Very pretty um, agate in there. Okay, so that was, I think, most of the sterling from that box. There might have been something else. I just don't remember. Okay, so tassel necklace, very cute. Color on it is really good. It is no um, color wear or nothing from the neck, from the skin. 
you know it's still wearable I mean you don't see that part anyway but that happens with plated and costume jewelry if you don't clean it after you wear it because it, it's not that your neck is dirty or anything it just absorbs the oils and stuff from your skin and it tarnishes and causes wear on the metal sorry thirsty and this I thought was pretty cool it says half united fashion that feeds um, it says this necklace is a symbol of your fight against hunger one necklace equals seven meals um, half united.com I'll have to look that up and see what this charity is about but it is just a necklace on a ball chain and it looks like a bullet fancy bullet maybe I guess an empty cartridge and then this little tab that says half united fighter fighter hunger oh fighting hunger I thought it said fighter fighting hunger so pretty cool what a bullet has to do with fighting hunger though I'm not sure unless that's something else I don't know it sure looks like a bullet though I do go to the range and it does look like bullet to me it's not a real bullet that makes you look like a bullet okay then another one of these origami owl type things except for I don't think this has got the Giants and a football in there but it looks like whoever owned this actually glued those down I guess so you could see them when they wore it um, but I not, don't think this one is Origami Owl it's not I think it's a knockoff pretty cool chain though it's like one of these toilet flushers as Vicky calls it but it is a really delicate small one look how tiny that is as compared to the normal size they usually are like this and a lot of times even larger than this when you use them for pull chains but see what I mean this is really delicate um, but this is cute though I like these I have a couple more of them so one of these days I'll put them in an auction but um, I don't believe that one is origami owl though usually their stuff is marked too there's a mark on the chain or something and I'm going to do I think an MSP a big lot of like dainty jewelry again like I did the lot before of the necklaces this is really pretty it's got some nice color nice fall colors in it I really like this one it's not cute very cute necklace more of the ball chain I like it though I like the colors and it's mostly glass beads in this one too these little flower oh this got a little sun and moon in there it's a moon on one side and a sun on the other that's kind of cute bead cute bead so I like that one so let me also hang that one up on the neck so it doesn't get tangled up again it was fun untangling these let me tell you not really but yes and just another shell necklace which I usually unless whoever I'm selling my craft lot to wants them I generally don't put them in there um, what are you going to do with a bunch of seashell necklaces right unless you happen to be in a state that's far away from the beach and is fascinated by them but I get tons of them around here and they're everywhere you look this is kind of cute it almost looks like crosses when you first glance at it but they're not but this is in really good condition too and let's see it has a ring right there so I don't know I'm guessing it had some kind of pendant hanging on it I don't know but it must have because something was hanging there 
hopefully I find whatever was hanging on it, but I like that one. And this is really cool. This is, I don't think this was signed, but this is very cool. It has some nice heavy chain. This feels like the nickel silver or something like that and somehow I managed to get it all tangled up again how do I do that I like this chain link though and it's got some really pretty beads on it it's got these stations on both sides. And then it has these gorgeous faceted beads. But very pretty. And it's a nice heavy chain. And it is that nickel silver made to look like silver stuff. And let's see. This is one of what I was talking about when I said you will have to wait to see that I believe this is a fluorite crystal and I could be wrong but it sure lets how fluorite crystals form in that shape almost look like pyramids <laughs> but beautiful and these actually look like there's fire in these and I wish see if I can get yeah I think these might be labyrinth labyrinthite beads yeah see the color and the flash in them so this is gorgeous a lot of flash in these beads see the fire there every bead so gorgeous though it's the color of labyrinthite and it has the flash in it that Labradite does, but very nice. So, um, I'm guessing this has some healing properties. I'll have to look it up. I know fluoride does. I just don't remember what they were, but these two stones combined must. So, this one's going to be hard to give up. I might end up wearing that one and keeping that one. Don't know yet. I know what happens when I wear it. <laughs> Okay, and then another one of these. I think I have two of these, three of these hanging over there now. A couple of, so I'll probably lot these. But um, I have this bright, beautiful, bright yellow one. I know I have a green one and a black one. A couple of different shades of green and a black one. Put it that way, maybe you can see the whole thing. You guys have probably seen this one before. This is a common statement necklace. I see a lot of these around here. But this one's actually made fairly well. It's got a nice um, lobster claw. And it's got a really nice extender even. And a nice chain. So this one's made fairly nice. They're not always this nice. This one I like though. So there's that. three strands of acrylic beads black beads these are very heavy they are not vintage it's got a modern clasp on it but it's just some, a lot of beads here so that will go in the craft lot unless somebody likes to wear these if you do I will put them in an auction And then this, this is the second one of these I've gotten. I think I gave one to Rebecca. Um, and I had the pink one last night. I don't know if you remember that one. When I last was filming, I had one of these in pink, like a really bright pink. Um, so there is a black one. That's my second one like this. These are acrylic stones, but they are big. Very cool looking. Need some cleaning up, but the chain is not too bad. And this one is signed, and I just knocked off my... There it is. My loop. And it says... 
Okay, this is that flower design. I think somebody recently, I'll have to look it up, but I think somebody told me what they what this brand was. And I'll have to look and see what they said because I don't remember. I know I found it. Well, I always forget this one for some reason. There we go. This might be slightly different than the other one. I think there's two close to this, but if you recognize that, let me know. And what else have I not shown you? Okay. Then this was a pretty scarf to the well, necktie actually. This was made out of a necktie. It was a pretty cool looking necktie. It's just beads, wood beads wrapped in the necktie. I guess they feed one down in and then one outside. Those were popular for a while. And then I found this beautiful pearl necklace. And let's see. Thinking I'm going to send this one to Dia. I've been waiting for a spectacular pearl necklace to send her. I'm going to redo the ends of it though, make it more secure. But this is a gorgeous three stranded pearls and it has the hook. <coughs> and it's got a fancy clasp, but beautiful. All the stones are there and it's in really good condition. Very classic and gorgeous. And these are really nice pearls too. Nice, heavy, lots of luster. So not signed or anything, but very, very nice. I think I'm going to send those to Dia. I know she really likes pearls. Okay, then this. Oh, and that Asian one I found last night I'm sending to Casey. This is gorgeous. This has some beautiful glass beads. It also has some natural beads, I think, that are garnet. These red ones, these chips. I think these are garnet. Gorgeous, though. It's got brass and maybe some copper beads on it. These are kind of tarnished like a penny. But this is gorgeous. And then these green beads in between. The green just really sets this off. Oh, and agates. I forgot about that, but it's got all these agates on it. Beautiful agates with the eyes. Aren't those pretty? Chips of agate. Just gorgeous. Love this. Love this kind of agates. It is a really pretty bead though. think of Casey when I find this kind of Asian inspired stuff or it could come from Asia I don't know but it is very pretty it is not signed so I don't know where it came from okay so this is signed too but it is just an N so if anybody recognizes the N what that means let me know but this is a big heavy piece but it's very cool i got it a little twisted up there very cool piece though check it out let me see if i can lay it all out so you can see the whole thing it's multiple layers and the copper colored beads and these black glass beads these are either glass or gemstone very pretty though and it just has some layers of chains and beads but really pretty necklace 
heavy though. Very substantial necklace for sure. So I need you to see what's all on that last one. It's got a bunch of different charms. Isn't that pretty? It's nice. I even like that copper bead there. Pretty cool. And the flowers. All the stones are here, a leaf, everything is here, and then just a strand of gold beads and a strand of silver tone beads. It's like polished, um, not polished, but brushed, multi-metals, different metals, but I like that one. Okay, we're almost done with this box. Okay, so I first thought this was a bracelet and then realized it is not and I do not want to get this tangled again because oh my gosh It took me forever to untangle this the first time. This is signed has a little crystal hanging off of the um, Extender and Celeste Michelle is what it says on the So I'm going to have to look this one up. I am, this is a new one for me. But this is pretty kind of cool. <laughs> that big ring. And then it has these very heavy, big um, acrylic balls on it. And they butt up against this brass ring. It's like brushed brass. And then this crystal... And this, I think this might actually even be a net. I don't know if they probably polished it that way. I don't think it's a natural formation. But very cool. And that's what it has. It's on a kind of a fine chain. But very cool cool looking and the chain does match the gold there very interesting though right and then it has that green bead there but I thought that was kind of different and I don't want that one to get all tangled up again so it's too heavy to hang on my thing so let me put it somewhere there we go and then, let's see, what was this? This is, I thought this was bar, Bubble Bar, but it's not, I can see now. It's another Lane Bryant, so there's two fairly nice Lane Bryant necklaces in this lot, and I like this one, too. Very cute, like the opened heart. Little elephant there. The crystal. Very cute, the necklace. Okay, then just a couple of bracelets, a little copper color. Yeah, it's not magnetic. It looks sort of like a too dark to be rose gold but it's a light copper color but cute bracelet I think I have a couple more of these somewhere maybe and of course I have tons of those <clears throat> all right so a couple more pieces and I'm done let me grab all these up here So I think, I did not show these last night, but these have little heart shaped, they're mother of pearl and have little heart shaped stones on the bottom, natural stone. And it, it is not dyed. This is the um, this is mother of pearl but that's some kind of dyed stone but those are kind of cute earrings I think 
it's hard to show what they look like hanging there you go it's more like it but those are very pretty and I wished I had found a second one of these but I think I might have one of these in my jar of single earrings I have one just like this and I think I also have one of these too this is a Chico's I think there's another one of these from a previous box look at that color though the color is intense blue on this both the beads and the rhinestone are just intense and again that is a Chico's it's marked Chico's and or is it J Crew? yeah no not Chico's but J Crew but I'm pretty sure I have and look it's even got a little rhinestone on the back see those little details that J Crew does but I think I have this one I'm gonna have to go through the mountain of uh this is really cute too but unfortunately I do not have the mate this is another one I think I might have in the jar but another um, box from another box but it was not in this one I'm going to pair all those together that I've been throwing back there from these boxes and see if I have I know I, there are some mates there okay these are some kind of gemstone I looked at them last night Carefully, I found the second one, but these are gemstone, some kind of agate, some kind of banded agate. It's not a lot of banding in these particular pieces, but it did come from a banded agate. Very pretty, though. So these are kind of cool. So, um, let's see, I think that is, this is the last piece here for this 10 pound box. So, last 10 pound, and this I believe is a Bill Blast. It's the double B. There you go. And this is really pretty. It's got the crystal stations there. And it is very nice metal. And Bill Blast is pretty expensive costume jewelry. Very pretty though. I really like this one. And the silver on it is just awesome. So that's probably one that will go into an auction soon. So thank you guys for watching. I am going to do one more video tonight. And I will have four waiting for y'all. So thank you guys for um, watching again. And if you have not done the thumbs up yet, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank welcome all you new um, viewers.